We're sending in for Bobby Deskins tonight on a, a heck of a night for you. Three name storms developing in one day. And by the way, if you need any help brushing up on the Greek alphabet, I hear our AP Perry is very, very good at singing it. I hear a lot of people in the newsroom was going to sing. I think we're going to have to have a Greek sing off sometime soon because we're already getting through the list. Two names just from today, Alpha, which uh, made landfall in Portugal, and then Beta, which is closest to us in the Western Gulf. Now at this point, it does look like it's headed fairly north, but it is expected to take a, a turn to the west throughout the weekend and then actually make an impact to Texas. So continuing to watch this storm as it becomes more organized, winds are now at 60 miles per hour compared to 40 from earlier, and it is expected to strengthen at least by Sunday into a Category 1 storm. And this is going to be another rainmaker to some parts of the Gulf states, mainly from the southern part of the Texas coast all the way up towards Houston, potentially, if this track holds. So that's going to be uh, the next storm, at least making impact throughout the United States. Everything else in the Gulf at this point do not look like there will be threats to the United States. Teddy is now again a Category 4 storm, a week into a Category 3 earlier today. Wilfred is right behind that, is struggling just a little bit. It was right behind Teddy, and Teddy hadn't really eaten up all the energy um, from this path there. And then you have two other disturbances in the Atlantic, low to medium chances. And then you had Alpha, our first Greek name, our Greek letter storm of uh, the season. Here's a look from Portugal from today, that water and, and the surf there um, around a dock. So even though it wasn't really the strongest storm, it did bring some decent surf. Also, um, some severe weather, some, uh, some tornadoes did uh, spin, um, pop up throughout um, some parts of Portugal earlier on today. So... It's very active out there, and uh, we're continuing to track, especially beta, as it is a little closer to us, and it could bring us a bit of moisture as we head into next week as well.